Let's start with Shreka Jackson. Of all the notable results of the weekend, this is at the top of the list. 21.55. I had to check and double check and triple check the results there, Gordon. Number three all time behind only Lawrence Griffith Joyner and Elaine Thompson Hurrah, who ran 21.53 last year in that stunning 200 herself. And what just a weekend in general for Sharika Jackson because she runs 10.77 in the 100 as well. So she sweeps the one and the two, puts her name out there for the 100. I think other people might say Shelly Ann or Elaine, still the favorite. But in the two, I think we've seen enough right now from Sharika Jackson to say that she is the favorite for the women's 200 in Eugene. Yeah, I mean... Back to back now, ten seven seven in the hundred, then twenty one fifty five in the two hundred. She is going to a place that we did not expect, and I don't think even like Elaine Thompson Hurrah or Shelly and Fraser Price expected. I think they expected Sharika to be in the the big three party, but I don't think they expected her to start pulling away, have multiple mm-hmm. wins over these two, and. It makes you really think about Tokyo Olympics, first round, women's 200. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Sharika Jackson doesn't even get out of the first round. And you're just Mm -hmm. like, how does a woman who a year later is going to be running 2155 defeat the world, defeat the Olympic champion multiple times, can't even get out of the first round? Clearly, there was not a talent failure it was no no. a brain fart failure of like just easing up or just not understanding where she was on the track and needed to qualify but it just makes you think i think if sharika jackson potentially would have been in that tokyo final she could have won that race which would have then changed our opinion of what elaine thompson hurrah's legacy is and would also just kind of flip upside down this whole 2022 narrative but Sharika Jackson is the clear favorite over Elaine Thompson Hurrah. And I thought there would never be a moment where I would pick anyone outside Elaine Thompson Hurrah to win the 200. But yeah. like, I am very confident that Jackson is going to beat Thompson Hurrah in three weeks. And I know, I know, Elaine Thompson Hurrah, she shows up at the global championship, not necessarily the Jamaican mm-hmm. championship. And she's. Shows that right. last year she was getting beat by Shelly and Fraser Price, and then a month later she's winning double gold. So I get that, but Shelly and Fraser Price wasn't running twenty one fifty five at Jamaica Champs or Jamaica Trials. She was running, you know. Well, they were running pretty fast in the hundred though, and the result flipped. I the gap though is notable because this was not a close yeah. win. This was a blowout. And if you remember Rome Diamond League, she ran 2191 there, won that one going away too. And then we thought, all right, that was a statement race. That wasn't a narrow victory as well. She's winning these races by healthy margins. Now, both those women have the ability to close that gap in three weeks' time because three weeks can be forever in track and field. We just got done with the US championships, and there's people who made the team who had a couple weeks earlier at NCAAs did not look good, and they yeah. still made the team. So a lot can change, but it does tell you what her ceiling is. And if you're just a fan of Jamaican sprinting as a whole, this is a big win because now you have somebody who – you have two women who can go 21-5. It's just an embarrassment of riches for, their, for, for them. And you were trying to press me on Sunday about making a pick about – where the Americans could finish in the 200. And I said, let's just wait to see what we get from Jamaica. And that's exactly why. Because we always get something special out of that Jamaican national championship. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't say... I still think Abby Steiner is going to medal. I, you yeah, know. that's not what you said on Sunday, though. Yeah, but that's the before I saw on Sunday was, can she win cold? Yeah, exactly. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That was a justified just get... reaction because she had run the first, the best time in the world, the second best time in the world, and the third best yeah. time in the world up until that moment. So now she has the second, third, and fourth times in the world. So at the yeah. time, it made sense. Now the it makes sense. The job got harder. To put her the second. job got a lot harder is what I'm saying. The job got harder 
for gold and the job got harder for metal when you have Jackson running that Correct. quickly. It's just I know, no again, I didn't, two ways yeah. about it. She could have the Lane Thompson Ross can be show up when it matters too. Right, right. The Americans and everybody else other than these three could run great and not metal. That's the reality of it. Because those three, particularly those two, have shown how fast they can go. And I think, you know, if Shelly Ann is able to win the one, she's going to have a lot of momentum going into that, that 200. But my goodness, Jackson is just, you know, the whole coming down from the 400 and then also running the 100 and then also running the 60 makes sense that she's really good in the two. But she's on a whole other level than I think what most people thought she was capable of. So, yeah, women's 200, getting excited, just exciting, just like the men's 200.